Thank you for viewing our video on how to add and edit buyers using the Gavel Buddy Auction program. In this video, we will discuss how to manage permanent buyers and we will also discuss how to use the check in process. So, to start, I'm going to click on uh, Log in after I've entered in my username and password. Then I'm going to click on Setup, Add Edit Buyers. And the first thing you're going to notice here on the screen is it has the permanent buyer number highlighted. So in this case, it's going to give us the next available permanent buyer number, uh, which is one because we haven't actually entered anything in. And as we continue to add buyers, it's automatically going to give me the next available number. So for this particular example, I'm just going to keep this short. I'm going to put in Gavel Buddy here. And then you could put the company name in there, address, city, state, zip, country, phone number, uh, whether they're tax exempt or premium exempt. This is it. So if they don't pay tax, you can set this to yes, and that would prevent them from getting charged tax at all in Gavel Buddy. Premium exempt, if you set this to yes, would prevent them from paying any premium ever in Gavel Buddy as well. The FEID field is for tax exempt folks. If they are tax exempt, you can put their, uh, their tax ID in this field. You can also put their driver's license, email. Uh, the status is basically only for people that are using our online bidding platform. So if you're not using the online bidding platform, you can disregard this field. The buyer notes is just a, an area where you can put informative information about this particular buyer. Uh, they, it follows them throughout the software. So for example, on the cashiering screen, these notes will show up on there, letting your cashier know any information that needs to be known about this particular buyer. The buyer cannot see this information. It's just strictly information for you and your auction staff. Online password, this can be disregarded unless you're using our online bidding platform. And then down here, you have the mailing list. So if you want to assign them to the mailing list, you can select yes or no, and this will allow you to run a mailing list out of Gavel Buddy under reports. Uh, so you can print mailing labels or put them on an emailing list. All right, so to add the buyer I simply click on add buyer and that person is added now if I want to print um, the buyer card after I've added them it automatically gives me this option I, I click on that it pops up this print window lets me send it directly to the printer and this is what it would look like so it actually you don't even need bidder cards anymore you can just literally print this right out of the system and hand it over to your new bidder okay so now that that bidder's been added, if I click on the Edit Existing uh, Buyers tab here, I can find anybody that I've added will show up uh, in the existing buyers uh, page here on this tab. And if I want to make changes to them, I just simply click on them, come in here and make any changes that I want to make, click on Update, and the changes will be submitted. I can also delete a buyer from in here as well. All right. I can sort by the buyer number. I can sort by first name, last name. This will help me easily find uh, buyers that I've entered in the system. I can also use the search functionality up here for the same thing. If I want to search by last name or buyer number, first name, company, uh, address, all this information, I can search for them up here as well. So as you can see, it's very easy to add buyers in Gavel Buddy, and it's also very easy to edit existing buyers as well. This video more or less explains how to use permanent numbers in our system. There is another video that goes over um, a bidder check-in process if you're interested in using that. I know we have uh, some customers that like to check in their bidders or buyers. Um, every auction and the permanent buyer number isn't uh, a great solution for them. There is another video that shows you how uh, we can accommodate that in Gavel Buddy as well. But this gives you a really good, and, and it's basically very similar to this process. So this video was meant to just give you a general idea of how it works. Uh, if you have any other questions regarding our software, please go to www.gavelbuddy.com for more information. We would love to have the opportunity to talk with you about your auction business and maybe provide a solution that will help you uh, save some time and save some money and make your auctions more efficient. Thanks.